the, the pivotal study was uh, reported in British Journal of Urology, and it was uh, uh, done by uh, Klotz out of Canada, and it was uh, the study that got the drug approved. So it took men with where you would give hormone therapy, and they were randomized to a a, a loading dose and, and, a, and a maintenance dose of Decarelex uh, versus a monthly uh, luprolide acetate, mainly Lupron. And um, basically, at the end of one year, both of those drugs were equivalent in maintaining castration uh, and, uh, and suppression, uh, way above 95 uh, percent. Um, during looking at uh, some of the some of the stratifications in the study and outcomes, uh, what was shown is that uh, the drug, as far as uh, PSA uh, suppression, was better. Uh, alkaline phosphatase, you didn't get a rise in testosterone and PSA, this flare, and uh, you kept T levels down, testosterone levels down, fairly low. Um, the FDA says you got to get less than 50, and so both of them were able to do that. Um, and then there's some other interesting things that occur is with FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, uh, is more elevated in somebody on Lupron or really elevated on people that have orchiectomy, which wasn't studied in, in this study. Uh, and FSH might actually be a stimulus of um, cancer growth. It's seen in blood vessels. Uh, in a study that was in the um, New England Journal of Medicine a couple of years ago, looked at staining for SF FSH and, and, and prostate cancer and found that in, in the vasculature it was there. So um, FSH, if you lower that, uh, may have an effect on prostate cancer.